Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great. It's time for week eight of weekly Q&A where we get your Samsung questions answered. If you have a Samsung question that you would like featured in an upcoming Q&A video, please drop it down in the comments section below. As usual, timestamps, aka chapters, will be down in the description. And let's go ahead and get started with this week's questions. So question number one comes into us from Rishiraj. And the question is, can you give tips on increasing the Book 3 Pro battery life I am getting a maximum of four hours. All right, so four hours maximum battery life on the Galaxy Book 3 Pro. Now that does not sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. So the first thing I would check, my friend, is check what performance mode you're in. So function, F11, it's gonna cycle through your different modes. You have silent, quiet, optimize, and high performance. It really sounds like you're in high performance mode. I don't wanna do these Samsung updates right now. Come on, get go away. All right. So it sounds like you're in high performance mode because high performance mode will really suck down your battery fast because you're running at maximum TDP and all the cores are running at maximum, full throttle, nonstop. So you really want to make sure you're in at least optimized, maybe even go down another mode below that. That's going to make the biggest difference in your battery utilization. In addition to that, it really matters what applications you're using. So a quick way to get some insight on that is to press Control, Shift, and Escape. All right, that's going to pull up our task manager. If we maximize this, we'll get a pretty good idea of our CPU load, our memory load, and our utilization. So we can go up here and we can sort by like CPU and see which of our apps are our top battery killers, right? Another thing you can do too is go down to the start menu and just start typing the word battery. All right, and let's see here. Turn battery saver on or off. This is going to take you to your main battery settings. Let's go ahead and open that up real quick. And you're going to see here, you get like this whole graph readout, very similar to our um, Galaxy phones and tablets. You can break everything down by hour, and it even gives you recommendations. Like right here, it's telling me my screen brightness is too high. Um, it also gives me um, energy recommendations. There's two of seven recommendations that it has. So I would go through here and kind of go through this as a checklist to see its recommendations and see if any of these can help you out. And up here at the top, we have view detailed info. If we click on that, we can go ahead and click on each one of these hours. That's what these bars are. They represent an hour's worth of usage. I haven't been using it the past day or so, so you're not going to see much from me. So once you pick on one of those hours, you can go down here and you can filter the applications to see how much battery percentage they've been using. And this could be very beneficial in seeing which applications are your troubled apps. So those are the only things I can think of. And if this doesn't help, I would reach out to Samsung support because four hours maximum, that's not right. You know, especially if you have your screen brightness down a little bit, that's the other thing too. Keep the brightness down a little. But you should be getting a lot more in four hours. I'm getting seven and a half hours, maximum brightness, optimized mode, playing videos and stuff. And I get up to about 14 hours on this machine if I go down into quiet mode and keep the brightness down at about 40%. So those performance modes, that function F11, that makes a huge difference. So I'd check on that first. Thanks for the question. Our next question comes to us from, hmm, <laughs> how can I exchange my S8 tablet with the S9 Ultra tablet when they release it? All right, so when it comes to trading in your tablets, what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna have the Samsung Unpacked event, which has now been bumped up to the week of July 23rd through the 27th. It was originally scheduled for August 10th, I believe. Um, so at the end of July, we're gonna see the Tab S9 line go out for pre-order, right? You'll be able to pre-order once the event ends. And during that time, you're gonna be able to do a trade-in for the Tab S8 tablet that you already have. So last year, when I traded in my Tab S7 Plus for the Tab S8 Ultra, I got about 700 bucks from Samsung. Uh, and I could be off by a little bit on that. I wanna say it was around 650, 700 bucks. So they gave a pretty good trade-in deal. You're probably going to get almost as much for the trade-in, if not the same, as if you sold it outright. You know, you did a second-hand sale like on eBay or something like that. So yeah, I just wait a little bit. Be patient. You should be able to trade it in at that time. And the cool thing is, is when you do that, Samsung will immediately refund you that amount on your total cost at checkout. So you'll have that amount deducted. All right, I hope this helps. All right, our next question comes to us from Taylor. Taylor writes in, love these videos on the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. I've been searching for a good two-in-one laptop for schooling. My only question is, how is the fragility of the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360? My biggest concern is how easily it could crack after daily use. Bonus question, I'm looking more into the non-pro version. Which S Pen model do you recommend for it? 
All right, so I wouldn't say the Book 2 Pro 360 is fragile necessarily. I mean, it's sitting here in front of you. Um, the only caveat though is this is a magnesium chassis, whereas the latest Book 3s are made out of an aluminum chassis, which is quite a bit sturdier. It's more resilient, you know, it's more rigid. However, I don't have any problems really with this magnesium chassis. The only thing I would recommend to you when you're transporting this laptop, and I, I tell people this all the time when I talk about this laptop, is you want to be careful not to grab here between the hinges. Because if you put a lot of pressure here, this will flex a little bit. Let me get that in camera view. This will flex between the screen and the actual bottom part of the chassis. And you do run the risk of actually causing your screen to crack a little bit in this area. And there have been reports of that happening. So what you want to do is you want to kind of grab over here where the hinges are, or even better yet, let me move this S pin, grab it down here by where the trackpad is. And also when you're transporting it, if you're putting it in a book bag, be careful about the number of books that you're gonna have up against it. You know, you don't wanna put a lot of pressure. This is a really thin laptop and that's a really thin lid here on this screen, you know? There's not really much to it. So common sense does go a long way. Now, I know a lot of people that have been using these Galaxy books since they first came out and, you know, carrying them to university and stuff and they haven't had any issues. Again, just, you know, be smart about it. Don't put a lot of pressure on that hinge area and I think you'll be fine. And for the second part of your question in regards to which S Pen you should use, honestly, I would just make the investment and get the S Pen Pro. I know it's a little bit pricey, but the thing is, is the S Pen Pro is compatible with everything, even the foldable devices and you'll be able to use that with any device you get from Samsung moving forward. But if you don't want to spend that high price tag, you can go ahead and pick up any of the S Pens for the Galaxy tablets. You know, they all look pretty much the same here. You won't be able to use the Bluetooth functionality that they have, but you'll be able to find the pens a lot cheaper on Amazon than you will the S Pen Pro. But all of them will work on this machine except for one, and that is the S Pen Fold Edition. Do not buy that pen for this. You'll waste your money. It doesn't work with it. All right, our next question comes to us from Abood. Abood writes in, I am not concerned about the CPU or GPU performance since they are the latest generation in regards to the Book 3 Pro 360, but the 16 gigabytes of RAM have me concerned. Can you open two instances of Word documents that have photos and text with Grammarly running and maybe Excel on the side since it takes a lot of RAM resources with a browser with multiple tabs? All right, so I have the 16 gigabyte version and I went ahead and opened up multiple versions of Excel and Word. Some of these have a lot of stuff in them, some of them don't. You know, we go here and move around our sheets. There's some stuff going on, not too busy. But what I also did is opened up about, oh, I don't know, 50 or so Chrome tabs up here. We got a bunch of them. And if we go down here and look at our memory utilization, let's do that real quick. Eh, we're hovering right around 65% out of my 16 gigs. So there's still about 45% memory remaining after having uh, Google Chrome open with 50 tabs, two instances of Word and two instances of Excel. I don't have Grammarly, I haven't messed around with that, so I don't think that would take up too much more. But yeah, there's still plenty of RAM to spare. And our next question comes to us from 1948 Muhammad. Can you open multiple notes on the Tab S8 Ultra? All right, so yeah, that's a great question. And yes, you can open multiple notes on the Tab S8 Ultra but it's a little tricky. Let me show you how to do it real quick. So you're gonna swipe down here, let's go to settings, and you wanna search for edge panels, okay? Edge panels, there they are. And you wanna make sure edge panels are turned on, okay? That's the main thing, so let's go ahead and minimize that now. And what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and open up Samsung Notes real quick, All right? So I've got it right here. Here we go, where's Notes? There's Notes. I'm just gonna open up a note. All right, then once you have a note open, you're gonna swipe over from your edge panel, okay? And what you wanna do is you'll see I have Samsung Notes here. If you don't see it here in your app list, go ahead and hit the edit icon, and you can go ahead and pick Samsung Notes from the list of apps, and you'll wanna go ahead and just tap on it, and it will automatically get added here. You don't have to like drag and hold it. You just tap it, and it'll get added to your list of apps, and then you just back out of it. So what happens is, is when you have this note open, don't just touch it. What you want to do is you want to press and hold on the Samsung Notes icon, all right? And then you're going to drag that over here to either side and then let off of it and then open up another note. And there you go, my friend. Two instances of Samsung Notes up and running on your Tab S8 Ultra. And also keep in mind, you can also use Samsung Dex. Remember, that's a Windows PC type experience. And I hope this helps you out. 
Okay, so our next question comes to us from Azu, and this is in regards to using multi-control. Is it limited to the trackpad or can you use your mouse? All right, so the answer is yes. Yes, you can. You can hook up an external keyboard, a writing tablet, any type of input device, including a mouse, like I have the Logitech Master MX Series, I don't know, the 3S. Really nice mouse, I like it a lot. And I'm connected to multi-control right now. I've got the tablet connected to the left. I've got the S23 Ultra right here to the right. And as you can see, I'll move my mouse cursor over. I'm gonna go all the way over to the S23 Ultra and I'm going to open up the Play Store. And you should see the Play Store open up on the S23 Ultra. So yes, you have full control with external devices. All right, our last question for this week comes to us from Danielle. Danielle writes in, Hi, I'm new to the channel. I have many questions and hope you answer me in the next weekly Q&A video. Questions, Tab S8 Ultra or Book 3 Pro 360 for note taking? Did the Book 3 Pro 360 has Bluetooth Air actions? Would you recommend the Tab S8 Ultra or Book 3 Pro 360 for multitasking? The next question is, which S Pen in both is the best? And which one offers the best video watching experience when watching YouTube videos and movies? All right, so for the first question you have, the Tab S8 Ultra or the Book 3 Pro 360 for note taking, uh, Samsung Notes, definitely, without a doubt, 100% Tab S8 Ultra all day long. Your second question, did the Book 3 Pro 360, does it have Bluetooth Air actions? No, the Book 3 Pro 360 doesn't, but again, the Tab S8 Ultra does. Question three, um, the Tab S8 Ultra or Book 3 Pro 360 for multitasking. This is a tough one. You know, I kind of have to lean on the Book 3 Pro 360 just because it's a Windows machine. You can open up, you know, as many instances of a particular app that you want. Whereas sometimes on the Tab S8 Ultra, you have to do workarounds to accomplish that. It really depends on the apps that you use. Uh, but do keep in mind that you have full deck support on the Tab S8 Ultra as well. That gets you pretty close to a Windows experience. But at the end of the day, when it comes to true multitasking, I gotta give the nod to the Windows PC just by the fact that it's a Windows PC versus an Android tablet. And question four, which S Pen in both the S8 Ultra Book 3 Pro 360 is the best? Without a doubt, the Tab S8 Ultra, you get the Bluetooth Air Actions, you get the uh, two point, I believe it's eight or nine seconds millisecond latency, whereas I believe the Book 3 Pro 360 is a standard nine milliseconds. You just got a little bit smoother feel to it and you have a more connected experience. And as far as your last question goes, the best for watching videos, YouTube and movies, it really doesn't matter. They're both basically 3K displays. They get about the same brightness. Uh, the audio is about the same on both because that's important for movie watching too, right? If you're not using earbuds or speakers. The other thing I can think of though is that you do have the air actions with the Tab S8 Ultra to where you can, you know, do this stuff to do the volume up and down and left, right to go forward and back through tracks. Um, but all in all, for most of your use cases that you're asking about um, and considering that you're only looking to get one of them, I would probably just lean on the Tab S8 Ultra. Uh, do keep in mind though, this is about to get replaced here with a newer model in about a month and a half or so at the end of July. So maybe wait a little bit and you'll be able to get this at a steep discount or maybe you want to consider the newer version. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's weekly Q&A. Again, if you have any questions you'd like to have answered, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time and as always, thanks for watching.